Hello and welcome to Sippin' Tea with Joshua. I am your host, Joshua, and we are going to sip some tea and talk about racism, homophobia, and all things bigotry in America. During this show, we're going to be sitting down with some real intelligent bitches who care about how effed up the world is and want to call them out on their ignorant ways, all while giving zero fucks. If Joshua started this show with 12 fucks and he ended this show with a dozen fucks, how many fucks did Joshua give? Let's find out. Hey everybody and welcome to Sippin' Tea with Joshua. I am Joshua and today we're going to be talking about sexual racism. What is sexual racism, Joshua? Well, it's exactly what it sounds like. It's basically the idea that people are more attracted to someone or not attracted to them because of their race. But, but, but Joshua, that's just, that's just preference. That's not, that's not racism. It is racism, actually. Sorry about that. Recent studies conducted by OkCupid, a leading online dating site, has revealed some pretty interesting information. That people are racist as fuck. Today's guest is Lukas Kaszewski. I think I said that right. Everybody, let's give him a round of applause. Yeah. Hey. Oh, it's a pleasure to be here, Josh. Oh, thank you so much for having me. Oh, wait, what? <laughs> Go back up. <laughs> How are you? I'm well, thank you. Hello. How are you? Great. What's the topic today? Today's topic is uh, is um, sexual racism. Oh, amazing! You know, I like to keep things sweet on the show. I can tell. All right, so Lucas, the idea of sexual racism, right? That people are not attracted to someone because of their race. Yep. Have you, being a white man, have you experienced that at all? I think I've experienced it kind of on the other end, where it's. Um, I don't, I don't prefer a, a kind of person or a color of person one over the other at all, but I do feel that, I do feel it from other, other people. Do you date outside of your race? Yeah, for sure. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Uh, um. <laughs> <laughs> why do you think, why do you think that people don't? Why do or I they choose not don't? to? Why do you think people choose not to date outside of their race? So what do you think the actual root cause of that is? Um, probably, I mean, cultural upbringing, I think that has a lot to do with it. You're raised in a suburb, you know, like a suburb, a city suburb. You're, you know, growing up in, let's say, a, a, a white Caucasian family. You know, like you're exposed to those surroundings your whole life. Your parents might be white, your neighbors are white, you know what I mean? That's what you know and that's what you're going to grow up into. And then until you see outside of that, you know, that's what, that's what you know. And unfortunately, a lot of, uh, you know, a lot of the world is like that. So do you think that it's racism or do you think it's just preference? Um, I would like to hope that a lot of people, if they're gonna, if they're gonna do that, they would have a preference. Um, because there's something to, you know, something you said for knowing what you like. And even still, it's a little bit both. <laughs> yeah, I think it's more than a little bit both. I think it's, I definitely think that it's preference, right? You can have a preference, everyone has a preference. You can everyone say that I, I find, Latino men very attractive because of their golden skin, but is it a bad thing? Like it's because people think about racism and they think about discrimination, right? They think about prejudice. Right. But is it racist? Is is it racist? Bad racist or is it racist? Okay, racist. Okay, racist. I don't think there's such thing as okay, racist. So you <laughs> think that people that are that choose to not date outside of the race are bad racists? Yeah, I mean, I would, I would just say open your mind a little bit. <laughs> okay. You know what I mean? It's like, there's, there's more than one fruit on the tree. Like. <laughs> so sweet. Let's talk about how the media and online dating kind of exaggerates this idea of sexual racism. Mm -hmm. Right, so we are forced, especially being in Hollywood, mm -hmm. to see like what America's idea of beauty is what the media's idea of beauty is, mm -hmm. and which is typically a white, white woman, white, white man or woman. Man. Um, I just googled beautiful men, and could you tell everyone what you see? I see nothing but white men. All kinds of, all different kinds of white, white males. Michael Jackson, um, <clears throat> models, Tom Cruise, 
All right, so now that you've seen this shocking evidence of favoritism towards uh, the white race, what do you think about that? That's terrible. <clears throat> but why? Because it's not beautiful people are all over the world, not just one race, you know? I just Googled beautiful women and uh, Rihanna's on here. It seems like a lot more. But that's, that's pretty much it. That's seems interesting. A little, little more diversity on there. More uh, ethically ambiguous women. Yeah. Not necessarily black women. Yeah. Which brings me to our next point about the OK Cupid studies. What do you think, which race do you think is the, the least likely to get a response? Least likely, I would have said uh, maybe uh, Filipino or, you know, some, something like that. What do you have against Filipino women? Nothing. I'm just thinking that, you know, in the work class. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. It's actually black women. That's shocking. Black women are ugly on OkCupid, apparently. Oh my god, don't say that. Black women are beautiful. Everybody knows. He's single. I hear it. You were a beautiful black woman for Halloween. Oh, thank you. <laughs> so, what would you say, like, would you tie in, uh, you know, the fact that we're looking at these polls and we're looking at just society in general, what people see as beautiful? Mm. Would you relate that to the battle about white privilege? Well, yeah. what is white privilege and how that affects the situation? Yeah, absolutely. I think all of this is because of white privilege. Uh, you know, you see, you look up beautiful men, you get a bunch of white, of white men because that's the society standard. This idea of beautiful was developed in Hollywood. That's how kids were raised to think what is beautiful and that just, you know, that comes up in every generation that understands that. Do you think that people that are different races, pe people of color, um, start to experience like a form of self-hate because of what is displayed in the media and because of like what these results show yeah. um, when it comes to the dating? Because right now everybody is on Tinder, right? Mm -hmm. Everybody's on OkCupid, okay everybody's on Grindr, mm -hmm. right? It's such a heavy online dating world. Do you think that people start to develop like a sense of self-hate? I would hope not, but I can see how it would be possible, yeah. Mm -hmm. Getting swiped no all the time. So you think that the reason that sexual racism is so prevalent and it's such a big deal now is because of the rise of online dating? Um, I think social media definitely has something to do with it, yeah. And it definitely doesn't help the cause. <laughs> um, but you know, then again, I you just don't hear of any other, any other testaments. No one's like, oh my god, there's so much diversity and like, you know, you never hear about it the other way around. So, have you ever been around someone that says, I don't date a certain race? No. you never heard anyone say that? Uh, uh, I take that back. Yeah, I have heard people say that. And what is your response to them? I have nothing to say. It's shocking to me. <laughs> um, yeah. Open your mind. <laughs> yeah? Yeah. Open your mind, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> Alright, so that's it for today. Uh, Sipping tea with... Joshua and Lucas Kashevsky, thank you so much for being on. Thank you, Josh. It's been a pleasure. Uh, and for you guys, please like, subscribe, and leave a comment below. What do you think about it? Is it racism or is it just preference? Let us know. Until next time.